Yo, 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 what's good, fam? What the business is? This is your boy Rashad, one half of PMP, and today we got another entry into the draft profile series. Yes, I'm trying to give y'all a draft profile video every single day for the month of January. So please, all I ask in return is for you to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, get in the comments, let me know what's good, all right? I know y'all seen my Panthers fan, big Panthers fan. Unfortunately, we suck right now and we have a terrible coach, but um, hit that subscribe button for your boy. It's going to be a lot of draft content from here all the way through the draft. So much so, the recent Senior Bowl has recognized that and has given your boy some credentials to go to the Senior Bowl. So I will be covering the Senior Bowl. It's crazy. Super blessed. We appreciate the, all the support for Panther Nation and my draft family. We appreciate that. Uh, this channel is growing. Amazing. So, like I said, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell in the comments. Let me know what's good. A lot of coverage and behind the scenes coverage for the Senior Bowl. It's going to be lit. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get into this profile of DeMarvin Leal. Let's get into it. Now, DeMarvin Leal, 6'4", 290 pound, interior defensive lineman, edge rusher. Hell, I don't know what he is, but the dude is super versatile out of Texas A&M. Uh, this guy, again, Texas A&M has put out some really, really, really good defense talent on the defensive line. Miles Garrett, Justin Matabuke, all these cats have been solid at Texas A&M. And Leal was able to get on the field as a freshman. Uh, he had 38 tackles with two sacks. Then as a sophomore, he had 37 tackles with two and a half sacks, a forced fumble and an interception. Then he really came on uh, the second half of the season. Uh, in 2021, Leal totaled 58 tackles and eight and a half sacks, one forced fumble, two passes defended. Uh, and now he decided to skip the Gator Bowl and prepare for the NFL draft. This guy has, um, he's a really good player. Um, he, he's, he's super versatile. Uh, this guy's going to be able to line up as an interior defensive lineman in a 4-3, uh, uh, or he can line up as an end in a 3-4, might be able to stand up. This guy is dumb athletic. He's, yo, it, it's crazy with this guy. Um, now, there is some issues with where you're going to play him when it, in regards to the NFL. Where does I mean he's so versatile that can also be a detriment. You know what I'm saying? You can be so versatile that teams don't know what to do with you. Therefore, you could slide in the draft. Now, if there's a, a, a defensive coordinator out there that knows how to deploy DeMarvin Leal, then he could go high. But he could also slide because of that, because of the versatility. I don't know. I'm gonna give you all the strengths and weaknesses, and you be the judge, okay? Now, he's got a really good pass rush. Uh, he's got a really good first step. He can get off that defensive line. Uh, and he's extremely versatile, like I said. He can rush off the edge or inside. He's got a good speed, uh, a good speed rush. Super agile. He's a fluid athlete. Uh, and he's had some success against really, really good competition, okay? As far as weaknesses go, I mean, it, it, the run defense is, is going to be a problem. There's going to be some teams that can run at him depending on where you deploy him. And I have a, a, a good example of that when he faced Alabama, okay? So I'm not saying that he uh, is going to be a terrible, a terrible at run defense. I'm just saying when I look, when I cut on the film, you can see some instances of where he gets uh, pushed off the block. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead and get to these highlights so y'all can see what I'm talking about. All right. So on this first play, man, this is going to be some great technique right here. Great technique from a, uh, from the D line players. You can see he's standing up, and as you can see here, uh, watch the offensive lineman. As a D lineman, as a D lineman, you want to get your hand, your hands on the offensive lineman first. You don't want the D, the uh, the offensive lineman getting their hands on you and then they're able to grab you. You don't want that. You're gonna get stuck. You, you won't be able to get off the block. What Leal does here is he gets his hands on the uh, offensive lineman first. Then he hits him with this awesome push pull move and just I mean this is textbook dog. It don't get no prettier than that. It don't get no prettier than what Leal just did to this man. Push, pull, and then able to make the tackle. I mean, that's that's textbook. I think y'all need to see that one more time. That's textbook, dog. That push, pull move is textbook. You hear me? Textbook. Get off me. And able to make the tackle. Excellent play right there. And as you can see, Leal right here, lined up off this edge. Again, standing up. Standing up right there. Watch this. 
good speed off that edge boom good bend really good bend really good bend right there i mean that's look him get under he got under the pulling guard I believe that's a guard that's pulling that guard pulled and he was able to get under he got so low low man wins right he got up under that dude and pause and then makes the tackle great play great play that's a great play against the run awesome play right there again just running that back great play against the run right there awesome here's another play Leal bro this spin move shout out to Robert Mathis man this spin move right here mm, set him up he set him up like a like a dad he, he almost gave him a crossover that's like um, this is the AI of defensive lineman that's what I'm gonna call it look at this mm, spin move vicious shout out to Robert Mathis man Love, love that spin move. Great spin move. One more time. Let's see that one more time. Leal Hadou with a vicious spin move. Man. Hmm. That's that's pretty. Now here's where he's going up against. This is uh I think this is let me see what this is. And this is against the run, bro. This is against the run. This is a tight end, I want to say, that he's up against. And this tight end just kind of pushes him off. I don't want to see this from my defensive end getting pushed from by a tight end he's getting just he got and that's what i said you don't want the you don't want the offensive lineman to have their hands on you once they got you it's gonna be tough to get out it's gonna get be tough to get off the grips unless you just have elite strength okay and again he but i will say watch him finish this play though watch him finish this play look at what he does mm, get off me a little bit too late it's a little bit too late to show off that strength but uh but again, you'll see it from the other angle. Again, he gets pushed inside. The, the run is going this way. Brian Robinson from Alabama. Shout out to Brian Robinson. And going, he's going this way. Uh, again, this is from last year too. So he may have improved on this. But he gets pushed out the way. Big hole right there. Big lane created. But he does finish that playoff real nice by tossing your boy. All right. So that being said, man, that's the Marvin Leal. Again, going to be a bit of a conundrum for these executives and these scouts bro how am i gonna deploy a demarvin leal is he a, a, a three four defensive end is he a stand-up line uh three four outside linebacker I, is he a, a, a end on a on a three four a four three excuse me i i don't know a, a lot of people don't know is he an interior guy so a lot of what people are saying is that he'll probably go in a second um and some people are saying i don't see a high first rounder uh the, this this is from GMs. This is from scouts. Now one one I want to read this because this is a concern from us an area scout. I don't know what team, but it's a quote from an area scout. I have some concerns with Leal. He's really a three technique who thinks he's a defensive end. The interior is the interior stuff isn't great, which bothers me with the vision as to how uh, how productive he can be. Uh, Leal got worked like a dog versus Alabama playing inside. He uh, similarly sees himself as a 3-4 defensive end. He doesn't want to play inside. That's the knock. He'll do it, but mentally wise, he doesn't see himself there. Those guys always will struggle in the league because that's where he's going uh, to have to make his money. He's not explosive or powerful enough to stand on the edge. Cam Jordan is his size and a hell of a lot longer, more violent, and was a 4-6-9 guy at his size. Leal uh, is really a one and a half year producer that's from an area scout bro that's from an area scout i don't know bro it's gonna be it's gonna be tough he could take that slide and again if you look in the in the mock drafts on draft network this guy is going top top five top ten so if he takes that slide you never know where he could end up but i like him as a player it's gonna take a good off as good defensive coordinator to get the best out of the y'all all right that being said, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification button in the comments. Let me know what's good. I'm out. Peace.